Hey everyone, this is Sean Olson. I am one of the ClickFunnels tech support leads and a funnel enthusiast. And today we're going to be going over a e-commerce funnel. This is the basic version of this funnel. And I wanted to uh, cover all of the different features as this is a semi-complicated funnel that allows you to sell an endless amount of products. So I'm going to show you the basic idea of each page and then we're going to actually go through each page and show you a test purchase uh, so you have a real good understanding of how this uh, funnel works. So we've got four pages here. We've got an order form page, an OTO page that will act as a main products page that will list all of the products that you'd like to sell. Uh, we have a single product page and I've only created one so far and you will need to duplicate this page for each product that you want to sell. And then when someone has finished purchasing products, they can land on an order confirmation page that will show them all of the products that they've purchased during that session. And so we're just going to go ahead and copy the test credit card information here so that we can use this for the test purchase. Um, on the order form page here there are two different buttons that will open the pop-up so these add to cart buttons allow your user to uh, click this button and open the order form so they can purchase whatever product it is that you're selling on the page and then uh, both buttons will open the pop-up here which contains a two-step order form and so we'll go ahead and just put some test information in here and we will be able to go ahead and purchase uh, the initial product offer which is uh, simply this diamond ring that we are selling for eight dollars and eighty eight cents and so this information uh, is not important for testing purposes uh, you do also have the option to add an additional order bump to this initial product purchase however I have added a bump product just so we can see how the function works. We'll go ahead and paste in the test card information. And so we'll go ahead and complete the order. And so that will redirect us to the main categories products page. So this page is set up as an OTO page, a one-time offer, which will carry through the payment information from the previous order page. So once someone lands on this page, this is where they will really begin the majority of their shopping and being able to purchase multiple products. So this is set up with six default categories, and so you can change the name of these categories to match the individual category section. Um, each one of these is set up to automatically scroll to a specific category. For example, uh, if I want to see what's in category 4, when I click that it will scroll down the page to category 4, as well as it will leave the categories stuck to the top of the page. So if you're scrolling, uh, those do not go away. So regardless of where you're at on the page, you'll be able to select a new category. Um, I have all of the categories set up with the exact same product as I've shown. There's only one product set up currently, uh, but each one of these can be customized to show an individual product. So each one of these also has a click pop, which is an image that when clicked will activate a separate page, uh, which contains the actual product itself uh, for somebody to purchase. And then when somebody clicks any one of these add to carts, um, this will allow the popover to show up and this will allow you to have a full description title of the product itself uh, different features individually of what you're going to get with this product you can add the product image here and all of this will be done on the single product page and then there are two options for every product they can add this product to their cart or they can say no thanks I want to continue shopping which will redirect them back to the main products page so if they add this product to their cart, you can see it will process the purchase and they will show back up on this page. We can purchase any one of the products here and so we'll click add to cart uh, and this will look similar simply because all of the products are set up uh, as the same product currently. But when they're finished purchasing any one of their products or any number, they can buy as many as they want. Uh, they simply complete the order right here by clicking this button. This will take them to the order confirmation page, which will show all of the products that they have purchased. So the email address that I previously used, uh, I used uh, also in another test, and so this will also separate their purchases by date. So all of the ones that I showed up today, or, or that are uh, purchased today, are showing up without a date. The ones that were previously purchased show a different date. 
Um, so you can see I purchased the initial product, the order bump, and two separate single products. Um, if I want to continue buying products, as long as I have not left this page, that cookie will remain in my browser and I can go back to shopping and this will take me right back to the categories page. I can hit category one, choose this product, add that product to my cart, and it will continue allowing me to purchase whatever products I want throughout this buying session. And then when I'm finished purchasing, I can use either the same button at the top or there is also another button at the bottom which will both direct to the order confirmation page. And so now you can see I have two additional products that I've now purchased that were added to my cart. So as long as somebody does not leave the browser window, they can continue running through each product and going back to shopping and purchasing more things uh, to their heart's content. So this allows for literally an endless buying process. So if you have a very large number of products, uh, this page will allow for up to six categories and you can simply uh, duplicate the columns and rows to add more products to each specific category. So let's take uh, a little bit of time to go through each one of the individual pages and go through some of the customization that will happen for each of those pages to allow your specific products uh, to be shown and purchased correctly. Alright, so let's go into our order form page and there are only a couple of edits that need to be made on this page. Uh, this will simply be the price for your product here the title of the product, the image here, as well as uh, this description. Um, the pop-up containing the two-step order form here uh, does not need any customization unless you are looking to specifically collect different information than what is being captured on the page. Um, so this is already set up with contact information where to ship the product, uh, the complete purchase title, and enter your billing information. So. Uh, if you want these to say anything different, you can open this element and change those settings over here. Um, so that's about all that will need to be changed for the order page itself. The products page will have a couple of different edits that will need to be made. So inside of this page, uh, you will want to start out by naming the categories and changing uh, the corresponding category name to match the tab at the top. Uh, you will also need to come in and edit each individual product within each category to match the contents of the page so that when you create this product inside of a single page itself, uh, you will be able to add that click pop and have this information attached to the correct page. I almost forgot to tell you that we need to make sure that we add the order confirmation link to the complete my order button to allow the person to finalize their checkout. So that's about all the information you'll need to change on this page specifically uh, will be the title of the product, the price, the picture itself. These pictures are set to a height of 150 so that each one is uniform. Um, you may also need to change the width of these as uh, you're using different images to allow them to uh, appear uniform on the page and then uh, you'll be able to add the custom script uh, JavaScript and HTML for the click pop for each one of your products uh, to be added to this specific portion of the page. So the the next page in the funnel is actually the products page themselves. Um, so currently we have the single product set up as the diamond ring as an example. And so inside of this page uh, it is set up with a semi-transparent background to appear as a popover. Um, and sort of blur out the page. Uh, this image can be replaced here with whatever your product image is, uh, the title, the price, uh, all of the individual features for your product and the description can also be added over here. Um, <clears throat> the one thing that you will need to change is the no thanks link. This needs to be linked specifically to <clears throat> the products page itself and so uh, you will need to <clears throat> upload this file or this funnel into your ClickFunnels account and in order to change this link here we will simply need to come back to the products page itself open this <clears throat> and copy this URL here to go into the no thank you link uh, that will allow them to return to shopping without actually purchasing that product so you'll just need to go ahead and paste that link right in here for the hyperlink um, for these words. 
once you have done that for your first product and created that product page and saved the page, uh, then you will be able to simply clone this product page to be able to create a new product. <clears throat> After you have all of the settings inside of this product page, you will simply come down here and clone this funnel step and then you can make the, the changes for the next product that you would like to add to the specific uh, place inside of the products page here. So each product page will have its own individual click pop and I will provide a code uh, and a link for the image that you can use so that the add to cart button uh, that shows on the products page will remain the same throughout the page. Uh, so once you have completed all of the product settings for that page specifically, you will come into the publishing tab, click on the get click pop code. And then once you have created this or open this up, we will click on custom image link. We are going to upload an image. Uh, I will also provide this URL so you can paste that URL here. Uh, once you have pasted that, that will update this code to include that image. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose uh, the image that I'm looking for. So we have uh, this add to cart button. So I will include this uh, image URL and you can also upload that into your account. Uh, then you will simply copy this code here, close this, and then you would come back to the products page and paste that code into the HTML element for that specific product. So if we were replacing this product uh, with that specific click pop code, we would come into this JavaScript uh, HTML element. And I have put center around uh, the code. Um, you can simply replace all of this with the new code uh, with a control or command V, depending on uh, if you're using a PC or Mac. And once you have added that code, then you would save the page. And then when you preview this page and click on this click pop, it will open that specific page and allow the, uh, the customer to purchase that product. So this will need to be done for each product individually uh, to allow it to appear differently on here, as well as to be able to direct to that specific page to purchase that product during the shopping session. Uh, once somebody has completed all of that, um, all of the purchases that they would like to make, and they land on the order confirmation page, the only change uh, that you will need to make to the order confirmation page will be to also add the products page URL to the button link, so that when somebody lands on this page, uh, they will be able to be redirected back to the products page. Um, that way we can continue redirecting back to the products page and allow them to continue their shopping. So this has been a basic overview of all of the pages, functions, and updates um, involved with this funnel. So hopefully this helps clarify any questions you have about implementing this funnel and being able to sell all of the products that you have. Uh, but if you do have any more questions, there will be a link in the description for you to be able to contact me directly with those questions. And I will be glad to help answer those for you. Uh, thank you for your time, and I look forward to helping you with more funnels.